Now I get a lot of questions about multicolor plastisol heat transfers. Is it possible and how does it look? Now since I made that video about the plastisol heat transfers, a lot of the questions I was getting is uh, can it only be done with a single color? Does it just have to be for t-shirts? What do multicolor heat transfers look like? Is it worth it? Let me try to break it down for you guys. For another brand that I was working on based out of here in the South Bay of California, what I did was I ganged up, I don't know, maybe about four to six designs, different sizes on one sheet. And what I did was a four color process type print where I could use the CMYK color scale to print my transfers. Let me show you guys what um, some of these look like. You can see this right here. This is, it's probably not in focus, but it says King of Kings. This is King Kamehameha. This is a design that I did for another brand that I was working on. As you can see, there's red, yellow, brown, black, and white in this transfer right here. here. There's shadows, there's shading in there. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's backwards right now, because what you're gonna do is lay this down on your heat press, right on top of the t-shirt, and then peel it up. Print's gonna stay on, side, on the t-shirt. This is gonna come up. This is what it looks like. This is what the finished product looks like. Hope that's in focus. And this is printed on a all style, I think it might have been a 1301 t-shirt. But as you can see, all the colors look bright, rich on this t-shirt. Everything comes out clean. And like I said, this is a plastisol heat transfer. The feel is cool, there's no cracking. Now let me show you a different one here. This is the other one, like I said, this is for a brand that I was doing in the South Bay out here in California, it says South Bay, a pair of vans on the bottom. The vans have a lot of detail. I hope this is focusing in. There's a ton of detail. I mean, the waffle bottom, the tan on the inside, the rubber around here, stitching on the black, a lot of detail in there. I would say there's black, gray, white, um, gradient gray. Um, the waffle bottom has about four different browns in it. The tan on the inside. There's a lot of colors going on in this one. This is what it looks like on the t-shirt. Once again, this is, I think, an all-style 1301. This is an extra-large t-shirt. I think the other one was a large, maybe. I gotta double check. It's an extra-large t-shirt. You can see how the print looks. Um, once again, it comes out clean. Soft hand feel, like super soft, like it's in the t-shirt. And it's not just for t-shirts. I also ran these hats. So what I did was I had the big logo, big South Bay one. I did a smaller South Bay one on the side. And like I said, I cut them all out of the one big sheet. So this is just a way that you could put a bunch of different shit. This is a Yupong trucker hat that I did with the same South Bay logo like the t-shirt. I just put it on this hat on the front of this trucker. Plastisol heat transfers, I mean, they work for everything and they don't just work for white t-shirt. This is a two color transfer that I did on a black t-shirt. Like I said, this is a brand that I was working on before for the South Bay. This is, I mean, it's Plastisol. It's the same stuff they use when they screen print directly on t-shirts. This is just on a transfer sheet and then cured with the heat press. And then also, all of these shirts have neck tags that are also plastisol heat transfer. And these neck tags I hit with the hat press. And I'm gonna go through this in another video of the equipment I use. But I use the hat heat press to do my neck tags. So imagine ganging up a ton of these different sizes, small through 3X or whatever sizes you offer on a sheet, then you just cut them out. But I use gray, because gray works on dark shirts and light shirts. Instead of having to do size tags in white and size tags in black, just use gray, it'll work on everything. There you have it, Plastisol heat transfers in multi-colors. I know you guys are kind of thrown off because I see a lot of people use the inkjet transfer paper. It looks a little muted or there's always like some kind of like grayish color silhouette around your image. With these, you lay it on, the ink stays on the shirt, the rest of the transfer comes up. And like I said, I mean, look at this shit. This is on a black shirt and it looks opaque. Super good, not thick. I mean, you could feel it, but it's not thick. This was the other one. I mean, the browns, the reds, the yellows, the gradient inside, all the shadows in the face, in the helmet look good. I even beveled some of the letters that came out on the print also. And the best part is you could gang up a lot of these designs on one transfer paper and then cut them out. So you cut the cost, you're paying for that one transfer paper and you could probably get, I don't know, 
three to six designs out of them, depending if you want to do like I did with, I did the hat with shirt. This was on one transfer. This shirt was on that same transfer sheet and I had another one on there. Hold on. And I had this one right here. So this one, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this guy is from a popular book in Hawaii called Pigeon to the Max. And what I did was I made it say Aloha to the Max. And if you could see that, he's wearing some Air Max ones on the bottom. And I changed the color of stuff. You got camouflage shorts on. Tons of colors in this one. Comes out clean, feels good. This is on 1701 t-shirt. This is an extra large shirt. But you see how I put a ton of different designs on one transfer paper and then I just cut them all out. That was that. So I paid for that one transfer sheet. Well, I bought, I think I bought a hundred of them, but you pay per transfer sheet. So I paid for a hundred transfers and I got, you know, maybe about six designs out of that one transfer sheet. So if I would have had to pay for this, this would have been, I'm looking at like eight or nine screens that I would have had to pay for plus the labor on this when all I did was pay for that one transfer sheet. So besides that, I also have all of these colors that are on here and all of these colors that are on here all on one transfer sheet and you pay that one print cost. So if you're thinking about doing multicolor uh, heat transfers, don't hesitate. I suggest you do it. So if you guys have any more questions, make sure you email me at bigbrando at gmail.com. That's B-I-G-B-R-A-N-D-O-H at gmail.com. Catch you guys on the next one. Yeah.